I've never read anything like the script before. Um, I felt like I connected to her, but I didn't exactly know why at the beginning. It's just, you know, it's kind of a guttural thing at first, and so, yeah, I had that, um, that connection somehow in my body with her, and, and she's just so unique. Misunderstood, and she's an outsider, and um, I think, yeah, I, I just related to, to that. It's so heartfelt, so romantic, so um, inclusive in a way, in that, you know, these are very misunderstood people, but it doesn't judge them at all, and it's ultimately a, a journey of discovery and self-discovery, which is incredibly important. And um, yeah, it's, an, it's introspective in so many ways. But it's also fun and has um, a beautiful setting, and there's so many parts of it that I that I that I love. Bones and All is about two kids in the '80s who are outsiders, falling in love and figuring out who they are under extreme circumstances. Well, Luca is a, a, a master of references. Every single film I, he has seen, so he's, he just has a lot of knowledge to pull from, and um, and he gave me a list of movies to watch. Um, so I watched everything he told me to multiple times, and yeah, I think he gave us a lot of freedom. But he's really good on the day of watching and making sure it's going in the right direction and um, and he's very spontaneous. I think he leaves the prep kind of up to the actor but then you know a lot changes on the day you shift so much which is good because uh, you never know what's gonna happen with him and I love people that are like that you know flexible and curious. They meet after Marin um, leaves home, and uh, she's been on the road for not that long. They meet in a supermarket, and um, she can sense that there's something about him that she connects to, but she doesn't exactly know how she did that or or why. Um, and and then they, once they start speaking, <laughs> they know that they're made up of the same stuff, so uh, after that, I think they both kind of have no choice but to, um, you know, move through the world together in some way. Well, I think she pulls him in <laughs> and asks him the hard questions, and he really takes her out of her shell in so many ways she's this, uh, you know, sheltered kid who doesn't really know what she is, she's trying to figure it out, and he seems to have so many answers in a way, a formula of sorts of how to live with who they are, and she's questioning all of that, so I think it's, it's, they're a good blend because she kind of shakes up his routine and and he's helping guide her through adolescence and, and, and trying to also make her feel like she can accept who she is and she doesn't need a change. I think he's one of the most unique performers alive today um, and he just made me feel very safe the entire time we shot. Um, I was obviously the newbie coming into this 
really special group and yeah he's he's also somebody who's so spontaneous um who's really inspired by what's happening in the moment and you want to work with people like that because because that's where you get you know the special little things that happen um he's very thoughtful and yeah he's 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 excellent I mean, Andre Holland and I started filming together. He plays my dad, and he's, I, I love his work so much. I've been a fan of his for a long time. Um, he's also somebody who made me feel really safe and supported and was always checking in on me like, like a dad would. Um, and he's an excellent actor. I felt lucky to share the screen with him. Mark Rylance, what is there to say? He's, he is the epitome of craft and refinement and excellence in this, in this artistic field. And um, he, I, yeah, I, I just watch, I, I was so happy to just watch him, to sit and watch him prep prepare. And um, he's so great in this movie. I mean, yeah, he blew me away <laughs> at every turn. His emotional intelligence is scary good. <laughs> he could see you and he'll know exactly what's happening with you in a heartbeat without even knowing you and um, you can't lie to Luca like he you, you can't so so because of that you know there's always uh, a mode of finding the truth in every scene which I admire and um, I think he's singular because it it could be any subject and he's gonna you know get right to the important stuff um, I think he's eternally youthful, and that's, that's a special quality to have. I think that people are going to be surprised by how romantic and heartfelt it is. So that, yeah, we, need, we always need that in the world, I think.